And give me a minute. Every day we're struggling. Oh my god. Our basic needs. Okay, you know what? I have so much lumber. Catherine? You had a child. I'm sorry. Dang it. Also, we have another child to put in. Might as well. What's happening at the end? Oh, there's no wheat! Wheat production so low. Davrina's passed and left behind. Two children. Sabrina had a life though. Sabrina had a life. She was, you know, part of she was a legacy, if you will. Part of one of the first couples we had. And she had a bunch of kids. And she had... Oh, sh And she had three partners. All were wonderful. Three children. I was a kid from her second marriage. From her first marriage. Oops. Only Gregory is your kid. Okay. But it's cool to see, like, the lineages and stuff. before the stream that I made, and I've not touched it. Oh, why did I click her again? Rest in peace, Sabrina. Oh, so many homeless kids! And now we have nobody making jewelry. We're under 120 again, like... I am overwhelmed. My game is lagging. Alright, you're old enough. You're old enough. Oh my god. What do you want to do? Ugh, 
Hey, farming. I saw farming as one of your suggested stats. Get in there. Oh my goodness. This is so much to keep track of now. Like, my brain is melting. It's melting. Remember when things were so much simpler? Such simpler times. And you're it. Wow, they both just died. No, I'm just gonna let time go by. I'm done micromanaging and I'll do things here and there to try to help out, but we're just gonna let let it happen. I'm just checking if I have any kids. I do have kids I need to go to be taught. I didn't even know Killy was on the street. So many people are on the street. How am I supposed to tell? Now there's only two people working in the lumberjack. We've almost have enough money saved up to upgrade for wheat production, so I'll do that. has been dropping. Okay. Anybody not sad about being single anymore? Girl! Did you beat out what's-his-face for li life expectancy? Like, shit! Longest living person in path. Do you have any- Do you have any kids still? You have two kids under your wing. So, yes. Um, let's see if we can find you love in Lakeburg first. Aww. Do you have any kids, Wolfbert, that you need to carry on to this? Because, like, Aww. we don't need to have her looking after any more kids. Wolfbert, which you... Both, but also you're so... H gaps don't matter. It's just a game. H gaps don't matter. Yeah, he. He hasn't been married yet. Nah. Nah, all these young single people. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, you're not young. But all these single people. Nah, nah. Colette! Yeah, your son's. Don't you want to get with her? Colette! No. No. Nope. Bad affinity. Okay. Um, well, hmm. Okay, what are we at here for population? We're at 114. Yeah, she got two chillins. Now let's bring in some of the other surroundings. No. Average. Ooh, she's a bard! She's meant for this! Even though the people you bring in from the outside aren't that much older than the youngins and the 18 year olds. Cause so I don't know about you, if I was 18, I wouldn't want to be married off to somebody who was 80 something. You know, that's just me. But there were times when people would do stuff like that. This is just a game. Go on the date. <laughs> 
criticize? Don't criticize. She loves the countryside. Relish in the gossip. No cuddles. No, she likes cuddles. This is more of marriage of convenience anyways. Still happens if the 80-year-old is rich enough. You know what? You ain't wrong. But I meant force. I meant in the terms of forcing. No, Petra, you are gonna go. Cause like, you think she had a choice? This is me, I'm like, girl, you coming in here, you marrying. Okay, bard house, go, go be a bard. You know, just live your best life, be a bard. Ugh. Um, yeah, our health is in shambles. How's the hospital looking? Hospital's got four, uh, so we need rat tamers. And an assassin, probably. No. Why is the health in shambles? Has the plague? Oh my god. Ow, I just hit my knee off my desk. And this is how people are dying. They're dying from a plague. All right. How did... Clovis, your first marriage. Oh. Effie, what do you got going on? Effie, do you have kids? You have a kid. Yeah, sure, why not? Couples. Ooh. Effie. Um, oh, drag Effie. Other countries too, I'm sure, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know too, too much about stuff. And I'm, when I... Most of because like my experience and my knowledge is so narrowed. Whenever I talk about that, that kind of stuff, it's a more Eurocentric. So obviously other countries and uh, societies and stuff all, you know, function different. Some still probably do that stuff and some don't. But yeah, my, my knowledge and when I speak usually is just from the Eurocentric lens. Because unfortunately, that's <laughs> what we grew up on was Eurocentric stuff and what we know, so... It's only families in certain places. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Certain families in certain places. Oh, for sure. That's why I said, like, when I talk about it, it's definitely, like, very... Eurocentric. No. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! I meant to go click on Marion's... I meant to click and marry in internally, but you know what? This is fine. This guy looks good. This looks good. This looks great. I'm sorry. I was like, why is it saying no? I grew up in Asia, so my knowledge is a bit varied. Ah, cool. I was just recent because, like, when I think about people, other tangentially um I, whenever i think about like certain countries conquering other countries i always equate it to size right but i'm just but you know so the, 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 I mean, by size i mean land mass so like the bigger larger land mass country to me it makes sense that they would be able to conquer other smaller countries kind of like when you play risk and stuff right almost but really what size of your army is what matters and so i've recently been like learning about like how J Japan used to like conquer China and 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 Korea. They used to like yeah, just conquer. Japan used to go out and conquer and stuff. And I'm just like, but China's so much bigger. But then now I'm just like, oh right, it's, you know, not the size doesn't always matter. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm just like interesting. So it's just like yeah, they used to go out and do the stuff. The abundance of fishermen. No, talk about favorite songs instead, please. Talks about the benefits of meditation. No, they don't like meditation. Criticize the work of the realm. Best painter. Don't do that. Britain is one of the most successful conquerors of all time. Oh, for sure. They've con they conquered and put their mark on so many different continents. Like the only like continents and countries and stuff. It's just it's like dang. Including both of our oh yeah no for sure, Bo Show. 
Yeah. That's why we got the Eurocentric lens, because, yeah, we were... And, like, you guys are technically... Like, we're still t technically... What are their quote-unquote... Not... Because, like, whatever Australia is to Europe... I mean, to Britain, we're that too, because, like, we still recognize the monarch in Canada. You know? But I'm just like... They don't do anything! They don't do anything. Commonwealth, thank you. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, we're still technically a Commonwealth nation. We don't, They don't fucking do anything. What am I doing here? What do we need? How's the hospital? Hospital's doing okay. Can I replace you and do better than you? I can. Can and am. Can you do better? No, you do the same. What can else can you do? Can I switch you up or something else? Blacksmith, go to the forge! Yes! Wait, Anai, what can you do? Come back! Prankster, go to pranking! Go to the prank! Nice, Livia, what can you do? We're just friend hot potato now. Trading post, trading post, trading post. Trading post. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, what can you do? Jeweler. Jeweler! We have a jeweler! Go to the jewelers. Get in there. Make them jewels! What do you want to do now? Prankster, lumberjack, carpenter. Girl, we only got two in there. Get your lumberjack on! That sounded really weird. In theory, part of the empire, but in fact, though, it's independent. Oh, yeah. All right, we need somebody in the rodents. Dang it. We need two people! That's why it's so bad in there. You'll be back. Soon you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back. Time will tell. you remember that I served you well. Oceans rise and pass fall. We have seen each other through it all. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 da. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. I love Hamilton. It's a great musical. Dang it. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing now. What am I doing? Go to the couples. Get married. I need another rat trainer, please. We'll make this work. I'll make it work. I could use anybody of anything, honestly, right now. Because we are just struggling to meet everybody's needs. Relish the latest rumors. Doesn't like rumors. How about attending the next execution together? Muscles are the true pinnacle. He does like the muscles. Jared, the dread thing. Talk about the honor of the battlefield. Oh. Fun fact, I found out recently that the US and Canada very vastly ideas of how the War of 1812 went. To us, the war we won big time. Most Americans don't even know we invaded Canada. I was never taught that. We burnt your White House down. We burnt the White House down. Isn't that when the 1812 is when they burned the White House down? England, Canada, same thing. No mention of Canada at all. That's like one of our things! That's like that was taught that was one of our things that we burnt your White House down! Not <laughs> that it's your White House per se, but we burnt the White House down! Alright, do we have any Oh, there's only two people working in the church now! What happened? Ah! Yeah, just time's just gonna go. 
Hey, what does this new guy do? Oh, yeah, I was gonna make, said I was gonna make it work. Farmer. Oh, we can swatch out a farmer. Not swatch out. Switch out a farmer. Swap out is the word I was looking for. Swap you out. Wolfbert. Actor, dancer, painter. Well, guess what? You're gonna go either be a rat tamer. Nox. Do we have any kids that need to be taught? No kids. Everard. You have a living, yes. Orpheus, you are not alone. I'm right behind you. I listened, I listened to a Canadian history podcaster and it sounds like you guys uh, won the war because you won the invasion, which just sounds like you did. Perceptions are interesting. It is, because like on, history is honestly written by the victors. He just died. Cause like, I forget what, what, cause like, there's another instance in history where America's like, oh yeah, we totally own this. Like this instance in history, we totally, but yet they had their asses handed to them by the people that they were trying to, but yet they were like, nah, we totally won that. It's like, uh-huh. But also US is a huge pride thing too, so. Um, can I move y'all around? Okay, yeah, I will. Uh, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back here. Not to say that not everybody has a pride thing, a lot of people do. Like from a certain perspective, the Brits won the US Revolutionary War because they kicked France's butt in the worldwide war that followed and won far more than the loss in the US. Yeah. Yeah, everyone spins it to how they want the narrative to work for them. Nobody's working in the inn! I have no bodies! Like, how many kids are there? Can I filter this by children? There we go, filtered by children. Look at how many kids there are. Y'all need to grow up and get your asses into gear. <laughs> that was so mean. I'm sorry, kids. Sorry. We have the population, it's just that there's, they're all kids. Wait, call it. You're just like single, single. All oh, the single, single. All oh, the single, single. Uh, nope. Aww. Nope. Jeweler bar, sorry, jeweler builder miner. Why not? Music, fashion, treats, fishing, public execution, feasting. <laughs> How about a test pending the next public execution together? No, they don't like that. Oh. Yeah, history is interesting, and I wish we learned more about stuff. Cause like I've been learning stuff about history from like what did I learn? Re oh, let me. Y'all want to know why the Can Can was such a uh, scandalous dance? Uh, people were like, "Oh my, you're doing the Can Can." Oh my. Um, you know, it wasn't just because you could see their panties, cause you know when they kick their legs up, you could see under the skirts, right? It's not just because of that. Back in that time, whatever that Can Can became popular. You know, women had a lot of, you know, with their dresses and stuff, they had a lot of hoops and a lot of skirts and a lot of layers and shit. And so that made bath going to the bathroom very hard. So, you know, to like lift everything up, get under there and, pull, you know, pull your drawers down so that way you can do your business. So instead, they developed a very common, very popular type of underwear that was crotchless. So you could see, you know, you could see people's hoo has when they did the can-can. Because they were wearing crotchless panties. <laughs> Undergarments, they weren't panties. I don't know what they were, uh, whatever they were called. But they were like long-panted, long pants, 
long pants, I guess, because in some places pants mean underwear. But they were long, leg-covered underwear, but they were just crotchless to make it easier for them to go to the bathroom. That's the kind of history I want to learn. <laughs> and learning a lot of, like, you know, queer icons throughout history and stuff. And I've, I've been, you know, there's a couple cha YouTube channels I watch, and there's one lady, she does videos on queer people throughout history, and I'm like, I love this stuff. Like, this is interesting to me. I don't care about what men, you know, argued about and tried to compare their dick sizes with and went to war about. I don't care about all that shit. Well, it is important, but I don't care. I want to make it more interesting. The abundant fishermen make swimming in the lake unenjoyable. Or less enjoyable. Minstrels disturb the peace. Oh, it's very sanitized, because schools are- the original- the schools were invented to make a workforce, and it's part of an indoctrination process. Like, they- they've- the curriculum is specifically tailored to what they want to teach children, and, you know, in whatever limited capacity, and just get them off into the workforce. Sometimes it's, you know, you need to be a little bit more educated for certain things, but they have a- you know. And so that's why there's a lot of- chaos and stuff happening today, we'd be like, oh, we gotta save the children from things that they don't need to save them from. They need to save them from the guns, but not the other things that they're making all these laws about. Um, but it's all, and they don't care about the children, they care about keeping the indoctrination process that they have going on in schools. So that's what, they don't want to change any of that up. They want to keep it what it was before, so that way, you know, take away the free thinking, and yeah. I have a lot of opinions that I will not go into today. Juliet, get in there. Work your butt off. You're gonna do amazing. I still have nobody working at the end. Do I have any kids? I do. I have one kid. Boris, you're adorable. Get in there. The prostitution was a key part of settling the American West and securing rights for women. Like, oh yeah! And even like, um, and don't even get me, we're not gonna get into it, but don't even get me started on the history of the church and how they fucked up so many societies. And like, they got rid of, cause like there used to be, what was it called? There's something before the midwife. There was another, I'm not sure if it was still called a midwife, but there was another role I learned about, I, I don't know what the name is, I'm butchering it, but there was another role, key part, like healers, um, that were not just a midwife, but they were essential healers and stuff that were a key part of like the family unit Unit they knew like all this stuff about medication medicines and all this stuff But then church whoops in labels it as evil and then obliterates them all and it's just like ah So we're not gonna go into more others about the church the church. I hate the church um, And by the church, I mean the Catholic slash Christian church most of the, probably the Catholics but still ha 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 Oh my god uh, all this death do we have people who are ready to mingle? Wolfgang, you've been ready to mingle for a while. You're only 29. Let's get you out there. Let's first see if you would marry buddy, anybody in Lakeburg. Oh. Ooh. Yes. I can't read that. Feasting, fishing, music. Fashion, war in muscles. Yeah, witches are based on various female roles that were used to be prominent, most notable healers and brewers. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. But, you know, demonize the women. Ah! Yeah, anything that, you know, because Miss Misogyny. Fuck the patriarchy. All right, let's go. Send Wolfgang on a date. I copied that all, right? I think I copied that all, right? I think I did. Talk about the honor on the battlefield? No. One of my favorite songs. <laughs> Our song is a slam at screen doors. Some accused witches were men, but not very, very small. Only a very, very small number, for sure. And also, uh, so Europeans historically had horrible hygiene. Horrible, horrible hygiene. The only reason they learned to start brushing their teeth was because they learned it from the natives uh, when they moved here. The indigenous people, when they moved here, they learned about proper hygiene and how to take care of themselves. That's why the Europeans always got sick. They got sick. 
But then there were, and so like during the plague, or was it the black plague? I forget which plague, the one that was carried on by rats. They, a lot of women, a lot of single women who owned cats got accused of being witches and putting on spells and stuff because they never got sick and so then they ended up getting killed and stuff. It was because they had cats. But you know, it's like, oh no, they're witches! Black Plague, then that's the one. Like, you know, a lot, there's a lot of single women, you know, who lived on their own with their cats who didn't get sick because their cats kept killing the rats. And, you know, keeping their areas clean. Er, clean-ish comparison but yet they were labeled as heresy and witchcrafty and same with like a lot of uh, not just in america but a lot of tri indigenous tribes of in various places throughout the world they rarely got sick and so the europeans thought that they were doing witchcrafty shit because they rarely ever got sick it said no because they had basic hygiene practices that europeans did not so What am I doing? This is absolutely charming fishing spot. We're ranting about history. Ah! Same as Jews getting accused for spreading disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they had their big on cleanliness. Yep. They didn't fit in with their narrative and what they wanted. Boo, everybody. Kill them all. Of course, get them off the street. Get these kids off the street. Oh my gosh, y'all have a crush? Stop it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, Oliver, you're good with getting love again. Well, I'll be damned! All right! Get into it! Fishing, feasting, music, reading, public executions, and flowers. Uh, yeah. Perfect match. <laughs> How about we attend the next public execution together? Nope. Talk about good food. Criticize the work of the realm's best painter. Talk about good food. <laughs> Flowers are pointless. More recently, Roma getting accused of spreading- Oh my gosh. Because their villages were isolated, they were- mm. Wow. Bombing their villages with disinfected during the lockdown. It's funny how they accuse people who don't have the disease of spreading the- It just doesn't make sense to me in my brain. Wolfgang, you- just got married, didn't you not? Didn't I not just marry you off? It's so interesting and weird to me. I don't understand it. Runehilda. You just got married too. That's fine. Literally bombing them up. That's horrible. And like, people are just... Yeah, and just, ah, I hate people. I hate... Society sucks. People suck. Ugh. Just comments, just like, just use your brains. Listen to the scientists. You know? Is it that hard? Oh, you have a kid that you're teaching. I don't know. Oh shoot, I meant to do that and then move you there. I have three kids. Celeste is a cute name. Oh, hold on. Cool beans. Who messaged me? Uh, uh, yeah. P 
people at history suck. I have two people who are homeless. Four. Y'all are, all these people are hitting, 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 you know, the edge. Good. Can either of you? No, I need somebody to work the inn. Prejudice is strange. There's a group of people in France called the Cago uh, that were hated to the point where the Cago, a Cago drinking a boat in the same fountain as a non Cago was a death sentence, and the historians can't seem to find a reason for it. Yeah, there's it. Th I d <sighs> yeah, it's wild how like people can make such con like and like the whole premise of like race and whiteness is only a recent thing too like maybe in the past couple hundred i don't i'm not exactly sure because like i know because like i remember because like um i learned recently like um because you know how back oh my god when i say numbers now they're it's like oh so like in slavery um when uh, here in America, when it was that when slavery was abolished, it wasn't, but it was still stigmatized. No, so like, the, but like segregation, it's like slavery was abolished, but but it was still the time before, in segregated ended, segregation ended, and the whole premise of like you know like if you have like uh, you have a black maid, you have the help. Have you all seen the help? It's a great movie, by the way. I laughed, I cried, it was fantastic. Um. The concept of having the help, like, go to the bathroom in a separate bath, toilet, like, outside, or living separately from the rest of the family, wasn't a concept until European nobles came to visit one time and it was like, oh, you have your help living with you? That's gross. Blah, blah, blah. And then it became an issue. It's because all the common folk wanted to be, like, the, the noble rich people, and so then that's when they started doing that. Like, that was never always a thing. And like the whole concept of race too with like whiteness and blackness that was a, it's a newer concept because like people just find any reason to set people against each other and it's wild to me but it's mostly put in part by people who are in ch like a, in charge like government bodies and leaders because they want to make us people fight each other before w instead of turning our attention to them who are causing the problems they want to because like one person put it if if a politician can make oh change make you think that you are better than somebody else who's on your I forget the wording it'll make you distracted and not turn your attention towards them and you you know they make you and stuff like that I'm bad I could I'm bad explaining things true romans had a concept of non-romans but they didn't care about your color skin just your cultural background yeah common folks trying to follow the rich is a wild thing yeah lawns were invented with say yeah a lot of people yeah same with wedding dress. yeah no it's it's wild how because we got it all right like we have more power than the people and in, 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 i just ah my brain my brain is breaking right now but yeah it's just such it's so wild we're getting some deep, weird convos, but they're good. But yeah, it's, ugh. Ugh is all I have to say, like, ugh. People. No. Livia, you're getting married today. Again. Oh, oh you have a couple options. They both just became of age. What was he? No. The most beautiful curve in a woman's body is her smile. Stop it. Say, are you an artist? Because you were really good at drawing me in. Oh my god! Stop it! I hate it, but I'm not opposed to it. I'm very awkward with. Even though he's not flirting with me, 
I'm so awkward with flirting and people. It's just like, no, stop. Ah! Then there are some sumptuary laws which are kind of funny now but are a serious business back in the day. I don't know what that is. Talk about favorite song. Yeah. Talk about painting, Olivia's new passion. Talk about the importance of money in a relationship. Talk about painting. No cuddles. Talk about the benefits of meditation. Our song is slam screen door, sneaking a light, tapping on your window. When we're on the phone and you talk real slow Cause it's late and your mama don't know What do you want to do, Childrick? What can you do? Rat trainer, a king, or a priest? You're being a rat trainer, baby! Get in there! Who you, who you replacing? Wolfbert! Dancer, seamster, innkeeper. I don't have anything. It's been a long time since we built anything. Um, been a million diamonds. Oh, you could be an innkeeper. Go to the inn. We need you. Make the beer. We need the beer. Oh, you have. Are you homeless? Yeah, you are. Sorry. Are there any other youngins? Yes, y'all both, I think both y'all just, yeah, you're both 18. Y'all are both Lakeburg Legacies. We're doing it. Music, cuddles, fashion, reading, treats, and poetry. Yes. <laughs> How about attending the next public execution together? Talk about the importance of cuddles. Yes. Um, recite a poem, worrying that books may corrupt the young. Saying money creates more problems than it solves, and then still disturb the peace. Uh, some cherry laws were laws limiting the classes of people were allowed to do or wear precisely to keep poor people from copying the rich. Uh-huh. Those are... Yeah. Like having long pony, pointy toed shoes were a fad for a while, so there were laws dictating how long your toes were allowed to be according to your class. I hate that so much. Oh! Danny found some hair on Boris's clothes? He's not having an affair. And clearly it's not his. Could Boris say that to justify the last night? Admit to having an affair? You had an affair? Belindra! Something's about to happen. He's a king. Surprised it didn't happen sooner. It's all true. Boris spent the night with Belindra. Years of stale marriage had pushed him to someone else's arms. No excuse! Boris holds Danny very dear, but he likes Belindra more. Oh no. But she's the queen! Oh wait, you don't. Oh! <gasps> wait. Look at the big baby. Little baby, baby booty. Okay. Oh my god. But Felindra, you're married to Drogo. No, you will stay in your stale marriage, damn it. I'm um, thinking about all they achieved together. Boris decided to try and save his relationship. Do it! Work! Put in the work! 
you know, or at least discuss if you want to have an open marriage or not. Like, talk to her. Don't just lie. Like, talk about it. You know, it's high time to rekindle the flame. Love and relationships are hard work. Relationships are work. Please tell me they have. Okay. I haven't bartered in a hot minute. What do we got going on in here? I don't need wood. Give me some money. Um, you need employment. Where do you want to work? Rat trainer, lumberjack, carpenter. You need... Like, I mean, we're okay on lumber, I guess. What about going on the road and nest? Yeah, no. Um, goodbye, Henry. Oh, God. Um, Pleasure House, I'm sure I need somebody. Oh, you were. Oh, honey, no. We don't need anybody in the rodent's nest. Severin, goodbye. Sabine, Eric, Drogo, Lois, Ma. This is a good place to call it. This run is now stressing me out. <laughs> and it is out of control. I did learn many a things while playing this run, like paying attention more and trying to st steer these kids to train with their uh, desires because it'll give them better output. Um, and yeah, but this was, this is a very fun game. I'm not even, like, I think a medium run is 75, and I'm not even there yet. This is so long. And people wanted an endless mode? Who would be playing the endless modes and making it to a, I mean, who would be playing 100 year mode and getting to 100? I see why it's not been tested for endless, because damn. Excuse me. Damn. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's so much burping. Um, so we are going to give up. But just, you know, it's just a lot to keep track of now. But it was fun. This was a good run. The current game will be interrupted. Gain prestige will be converted into prestige shillings. Yes, give me some prestige shillings, please. We got so many. We almost got to there. What do I do with the shillings? Go to the gallery now, I guess. What do we do with the shillings? Oh, we buy pretty pictures. Oh. Oh. Are these safe for work? You, you, you. Should have gotten the tail. But that's so cute! So you play the game, you get the shillings, and you buy the things. Ooh, a bath. Look at all this art! This is so cute! Ooh! Ooh. It says adorbs. I like it. All right, give me back to the. Ooh! Sorry. Sorry, not sorry.